How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel and more good news coming out of the House of L because Metacom Toys has released some brand new images of the soon coming Mafex Hush Superman action figure. And boy, oh boy, does it look even more fantastic than the photos taken at the convention, which were less than perfect. And they got me excited. So let's look at some of these images and let's just see how much more they reveal about this absolutely fantastic looking Superman. Image number one, just a straight up image. We can actually now begin to see the figure a little bit more clear. It's definitely still more exposed than it's going to appear to us with the naked eye. And you can really tell that there are two bright lights on it. At the very least, they're trying to soft white reflect off of this. So it's certainly definitely still a little bit overexposed to try and bring out the color and the shadow. But you can tell again by looking at the belt and the yellow on his chest and the flesh tone that it definitely does have a lot of light shining off it. So don't think that it won't be nearly as yellow because I promise you, it will be. If we have another slightly sideways look here at the figure, again, we're able to really see what they have to offer with this. And it is near perfect as far as I'm concerned. Yes, as I'd stated before, looking at the head sculpt, I kind of wish that the spit curl was on the other side because I like it when it makes a nest, but it's not inaccurate to Jim Lee's artwork because he does draw Superman, at least in that storyline with the spit curl, not going the classic way with it looking like an S on his forehead. Now, the Super Friends and I, whoever, whichever of you showed up to that live stream, we had surmised, we talked about what possible accessories would come with this figure, and we came up with a pretty accurate list, don't you think? Because for one, we figured it'll come up with an extra head, which is correct, and we figured that it would be obviously an angry head, because everyone likes an angry, pissed off, fired up looking soups with the red heat vision eyes, a head sculpt that I usually won't use. So he does come with an extra head, we can see that. And bear in mind, looking at the paint here, it looks a bit bumpy and rough, but that's because it's a prototype. These are hand-painted figures. And that's what you get with hand painted figures. You, you come up with that. These are going to be factory painted, so they will look different. We'd also talked about the other accessories being we'd surmised an extra fist that would come with him to go on the Batman. And ta da, look, you can clearly see he comes with an extra fist with that kryptonite ring on it. We surmised that he would come with vines because clearly a huge chunk of why he's in the story is because he's being controlled by Poison Ivy. And it's a classic scene with the vines. And what do you know? He's got the vines. And just looking at some images, while well, for them to use those, you've got this image right here with the vines and Batman with the kryptonite ring, a classic image from the story right there. Very cool, makes me want both of them even more. And then you go to the next image, you have Supes right here hovering with the angry face and the vines. So I'm glad that they included these accessories. I likely won't use them other than for, you know, I'll probably actually give them to Poison Ivy, to my Poison Ivy figure, and I'll use them only in the video that I'm taking photography for that review. Other than that, they'll, they'll never just be on the figure. But we can see that the cloth goods cape is absolutely very useful. You can see it bellowing up here. With this image, you can see the cloth cape bellowing. So I'm, I'm, I'm really liking how fantastic that cloth goods cape is. Now, as far as we can see that his neckline, which is something that I talked about, and then the cape not tucking into it, that's definitely something that we see here as being more pronounced. However, I think that it's also possible that right here, this piece might also possibly have some articulation because, again, we can see it here. This is the same thing we talked about. Certainly not the coolest. That's not what I would have done to design the figure. We can see a lot more of the figure's articulation in these pictures, which is absolutely fantastic. I think that's a must in this day and age, but not every shot will emphasize that extra, you know, oomph where the neck and the cape line don't meet. Something that will bother a lot of people, undoubtedly a lot, myself included, even though I likely won't change it. And we also see though, that he comes with, he'll likely come with two of these hands right here, these kind of open splayed hands like that for, poses like that. And again, an iconic image. That's an iconic Superman pose. And then also, if we look at this one right here, this image shows us, and this is a fantastic image. This is, it's a fantastic image. It's a classic image. I love it very much. But before I gush over the image, we can see as well that Superman will come with two flat flight hands. So, you know, 
I, I think that them releasing these images at this time is definitely in their favor because the cat's already out of the bag. Why not just let it all the way out of the bag? Because we all know that putting the cat back in the bag is a lot harder than letting it out in the first place. And again, you can see that the yellow is definitely overexposed still because that's almost white. As for my excitement level for this figure, am I really stoked about it still? Absolutely. Am I more stoked about it still? Even more, I don't think that, the, if, I think that any figure that surpasses this as my figure of the year next year, because I don't think it's going to come out this year. I'm assuming it'll come out in 2020. I don't think that almost any figure that gets released will surpass this for my figure of the year next year. When I do my favorite figures of 2020, if this figure is not at the top, there's going to have to be something really big to bump it out of the way. Anyway, super friends, that's all the time I have today. Thank you so much for tuning and watching. If any comments you have down below, please leave a like on it so I know I've done something right. And have a DC day, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.